The bloodbath continues on Wall Street. I'll get to that in just a moment. But first, I want to go over CVR Partners, ticker symbol UAN. CVR Partners is a holding company which engages in the nitrogen fertilizer business. Its products include ammonia and urea ammonium nitrate fertilizers. The company uh, was founded on June 1st, 2007, and is headquartered in Sugarland, Texas. A viewer named Heather is interested in this stock. Hi there, Heather. So I thought I'd go over it. It ended the day at $150.50. It is up a half a percent. The 52-week low, $47.50. The 52-week high, $179.74. Volume lower than normal with 137.3,000 shares traded. We typically see 193.7,000 shares traded. It has a market cap of $1.6 billion. Under the performance, it is down nearly 14%. For the month, it is up 0.1%. And for the year, it is up a whopping 155 percent congratulations if you've made money off of this stock if you want to do a deep dive into the financials click on this tab then you can check out the overview the income statement the balance sheet the cash flow and the stats now under the technicals it is considered a buy as of this moment and then if you click on this tab you can check out the technical analysis summary see the oscillators the moving averages and the pivots as well now on WalletInvestor.com, the one-year price target is $217.40. On Gov.Capital, it's $181.82. Let's just say you picked up this stock at $151. We'll round up. If it goes up to the target of $181, that is a return of 20%. If it goes to $217, that is a return of 43%. Of course, we may never get there, or it could take a very long time to do so. But you will notice if you took a risk back in 2020, March 16th or thereabouts, when the COVID crash happened, the stock went sideways, it barcoded, it consolidated, and basically it went nowhere and of course a lot of people sold off on the stock they sold their position and had you purchased it there and were doing the opposite of what everyone else was doing your return would have been 2437 percent from this level all the way up to here and we almost hit one of the targets back on the 20, oh, let me line that up, the 18th, rather, of April. And ever since then, we've been selling off. Now, notice we hit two standard deviations here. Then we went to three standard deviations. And then we hit four standard deviations. This is money. This is more money. And this, wait for it is the jackpot and whenever we hit those levels i always anticipate a pullback you cannot expect a stock to continue to rip without consolidating barcoding basing or basically people leaving it because they're taking their money and they are running now let me show you the rsi it is starting to hook down and we're about to get to 72.50 on our way to 70. This is the level where, where people start to take their profits. As you can see, it went up, went up, 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 and then down, up. But people are starting to get out on sellout right here. And then it went back up again. And right here, you can see the sell-off, all the red candles there. And notice back here, back in time, when it hit two standard deviations, what happens when a stock hits this level? It sells off. 
and this is where price action likes to congregate, hang out before it goes to the downside or perhaps it goes to the upside. Now, taking a look at the MACD, we have also started to cross over here, but look, we're starting, it looks like to crest and possibly go down. You need this to go up and this to turn around to show us that there is a sign of a reversal and that is not happening just yet. Now, let me show you one other thing here. Notice when the RSI hit below 30, this right here is 30 and price was at $6.19 and it hit 11 on the RSI and price was still at around that level, six, $7. And then going back in time, we hit 30 here and price was about $25. And over here, price was at about $52. It went up here on the price action, down, up, down, all over the place. But that's to be expected. Taking a look at this on the daily time frame, let me remove this. The RSI is starting to turn up a little bit there. But the MACD has crossed to the downside. Again, we need both of these to go up to show us that there is a true sign of a reversal. And again, we are not there. We've started to sell off. Now, taking a look back in time, there was one point right here, as you can see, just the recent past started to sell off. This is another area where we hit resistance and we almost hit it right here and started to sell off. And Let's take a look at the RSI. I, oh, I showed that to you already. And the price action, you can kind of just follow it. Oversold is about 30. This is a nice area to start looking at picking up shares as well. Sometimes it never gets there and sometimes it does. So you would have had to wait on the daily time frame. Back in time here. This was back on. November to between November, October 29th through November 3rd, let's just say, where it dipped below 30 and price was at $5.20. All right. Now, some other stocks that you may want to check out that are following the same chart as UAN. It's in the process industries, chemicals, agriculture sector. The ticker symbols are CF. You can see it's also falling down at $95, uh, up 0.58%. MOS, end of the day at 63.67. And following the same chart, basically. NTR, end of the day at 98.94, down nearly 1%. The RSI is starting to turn a little bit. And finally, ICL, end of the day at $10.92, down 2.3%. Now let's take a look at what is making headlines today on CNBC. Microsoft earnings beat across the board. Thank goodness. Hopefully this will turn the market down around tomorrow. Alphabet reports weak earnings and revenue on big YouTube miss. And what else do we have? General Motors now has 140,000 reservations for its Chevrolet Silverado EV. The VIX is up 24%. That is the fear index. The Russell down 3%. NASDAQ down nearly 4%. S&P 500 down nearly 3%. And the Dow down 2.3%. And here is a look at the heat map. Basically read across the board again, the financial sector down, technology, communication services, consumer cyclical. The sector that did go up today was oil and gas. And Lockheed Martin, I've done a chart for that. 
But that does it for me. If there is a stock that you would like me to take a look at, please comment below. And to see my other stock charts, check out my other videos. Thank you for watching.